Hello and welcome back to another video and today we're doing another last of first challenge here on MotoGP 20 and obviously it is the Czech Grand Prix this weekend so we are here at Brno in the Czech Republic and as you will have seen by the title and thumbnail we're actually doing the challenge as Stefan Bradl today obviously Mark Marquez out this weekend once again due to his injury obviously he's damaged his plate by opening a door apparently whether that's the reason not too sure I kind of I find it hard to believe that he damaged his plate uh, opening the door. So we're playing as Stefan Bradl. Ignore the fact the face looks nothing like Stefan Bradl. It's just it's a mod for the custom rider because it's a lot easier than having to convert all those textures over and actually replace Marquez. And it would still have Marquez's face anyway, so uh, obviously there's no Bradl face or anything like that to use. So we're starting at the back of the grid then. 21st place because I've removed Bagnaya and Marquez in this race. Obviously they're both out due to injury, so trying to make it as realistic as possible. You might notice a couple of differences than you would usually see in your game. I've got a, basically a beta version of the performance mod I'm working on for Project 20, but it's still subject to change, so don't get too upset. It was made before qualifying as well, so some of the positions might be a bit unrealistic, but we'll get this race started then, and hopefully we can try and get through the order, but the AI are fantastic at this track. We are seconds away from the start of the race. The riders are coming down to the start of the Czech Grand Prix here in Brno. So obviously, as you can see, it's actually a Yamaha front row lockout. It's based on Hareth, as you, can, as you can see, the three Yamahas at the front, although Rossi is actually in front of Vinales, surprisingly enough. But we're waiting for the lights to go out here at Bruno. Lights out, and away we go. Like I said, obviously, the AI are fantastic here, so we're going to try and gain as many places as we can. Pass Smith, pass Marquez, pass Spagro, passing actually a lot of riders. We go down towards the first corner on the brakes. We're up to 12th place already. That's actually been a fantastic start. Back into power mode one then. So we've got the inside, Jean Zarco, sticking on the inside. We need to. Uh, boost him a little bit this weekend I think Rossi's actually had a terrible start, we've got past Nakagami we're getting past then Jean Zarco down towards this next left hander, obviously it is a little bit chaotic because of how closely matched all the AI actually are in this mod just purely because of how I've had to do the performance, it means they're all pretty close to each other so through turn 4 then trying to pick up the power but it comes out with Danilo Petrucci, we've lost a wing we've lost a wing on the left hand side already so that is going to make our 50% race even more difficult than it would be otherwise. Obviously, Bruno, AI, absolute domination at this track. And we're stuck down in 11th, and we've got some damage from hitting into the side of Denilo Petrucci, but we're past Alex Renz now. So Alex Renz actually struggling a little bit. He qualified a little bit better than that, didn't he? Uh, De has actually dropped down the order a little bit more now. Side by side, cutting up the pole man Zarco there. Morbidelli trying to pass Rossi up the inside. Rossi's a little bit wide. He's had a terrible start from second on the grid. We've now passed Rossi as well, so what has happened to Rossi, I do not know. I might have made a mistake with his... Uh, performance in the race or something but we've gone past Morbidelli then so up to seventh place already so I was expecting this to be much more difficult I suppose the Honda is the best bike in the game so I suppose that would be why and yet it actually is because if you give an AI a Honda they always do better so around the outside then of Davizioso but he's still got the inside around the outside we go sliding it we've now got the inside through turn to our side that rear tire obviously this is where Nakagami lost his lap in qualifying Davizioso almost hitting us up the back then so up into 6th place, it's actually been quite a good first up, we've got him very very wide into Horizon, will that allow him to come back through? It's actually not quite, so up to 6th, into the top 6 at the end of this first lap then. Up to stretch control 3, coming up towards the line, 2018, uh, it's not giving me the timing tower, so it's doing that glitch where I don't get the timing tower, so that's fun, I don't get to see the order. I can kind of see in front, uh, is that Cal Crutchlow in 3rd place? He is doing a good job if he is in 3rd place, must be said. But obviously the next target to catch up is Jack Miller, so I've got to get my head down and try and catch him. I've just noticed that uh, Brad has actually got blue knee sliders, and that is uh, my mistake. I've accidentally forgot to change the knee slider colour to red. So, uh, yeah, Brad with blue knee sliders. <laughs> because you just have to replace your custom riders, you have to pick the right colours for things. So unfortunately, Brad has got blue on his knee sliders here. That I've, it's took me two laps to notice that. But enough talking about the knee sliders now, we need to focus on Jack Miller ahead. And that rear tyre is getting so, so hot, so I might have made a wrong choice here. 54 8, so we're actually slower than Quattararo by a good half a second. So Quattararo is getting away at the front here. So here we go through turn 6, and we've got a good run. And we're going to dive up the inside into 7, a study on no, not quite. So we're still behind Miller. But we are getting really, really close to him. He's dropping back from Jean Mir a little bit now. Can we do a move up the inside into here, into turn 8? Miller around the outside, but I think we've got the move anyway. Yes, we have. So we're up into fifth position now. So Stefan Bradl up into fifth position, obviously doing much better than he has been in real life. 
because I think I heard a stat earlier for the first time ever since Repsol have sponsored the factory Honda team. They've been last and second to last on the grid. And they've been sponsoring Honda since the 90s. So that's absolutely ridiculous. Although Honda have always had the best, if not just one of the best bikes. So I suppose it's very rare to see them at the back of the grid, especially the factory ones. So Vinales now with a 54-2. I've done a 54-0, so I've picked up my pace a little bit now compared to the others. So Jean Mir's up next, even though I'm trying to look after that rear a little bit more. My pace still seems to be pretty good. Uh, Quattararo not quite getting away from Vinales yet. Which is obviously nice for Maverick. But if we can try and get past Jean Mir soon, we can try and catch up to that lead group and see if we can catch up to uh, Cal Crutchlow. So we've really closed up to Jean Mir now, but we're not quite close enough to try and do what we did to Miller. And the rear is sliding so much, I couldn't get the power down that tyre is way too hot on the rear now and I can't manage it. The front is now starting to be pushed as a consequence so we might start going backwards now because look at this tyre, it is absolutely atrocious. So 54-5 on that lap so half a second still behind Jean Mir. I need to try and get past him because I think the leaders are stretching away again now. So as we come over the line this lap then 54-8, we are really dropping off the pace now. I've turned down the engine braking to try and save that rear tyre maybe stop it pushing the front so much but yeah the temperature is not going down as you can see on the right hand side of the screen so it's just going to be a defensive ride now ahead of Jack Miller for the rest of this race I believe Jean Mir slipping out of sight same with the leaders and that's just so frustrating but yeah I made the wrong tyre choice here today so then Miller behind us then four tenths of a second 1.1 1 .1 ahead to Jean Mir so the AI are not too great when they're following you to be honest I could definitely see Miller struggling to get by me, but then again he might just absolutely dive at the inside, he is an AI after all. We're on lap 7 so there's not too many laps to go, but the right hand side of my tyre is totally gone now. I need to, I just need to be able to slow down, alright Miller's right behind me now, so Miller obviously heard me saying that I didn't think he'd be able to catch me very much, I need to right on the back of me now, Alessia Spagger battling with Brad Binder a bit further back, but through turn 9 then, tr just trying to sit the bike up on the fat bit of the tyre to stop the right hand side getting so worn but the pack behind is catching us up now, obviously massive tyre troubles now we're in I think we're going to be dropping at least a second, second and a half a lap just trying to look after this tyre because it's still getting hotter, I don't know how to cool it down like I'm not pushing anymore but it's still getting hotter maybe I need to just stop using the rear brake and start losing like several seconds a lap maybe, I'm not really sure on that, stretch of controls on four, it has been basically since the start of the race. When I realize it's getting too hot, but here comes Jack Miller, we're in power mode zero as well. Uh, just even more to try and save it so it doesn't spin as much with the engine power. And through this section then, we'll just sort of coast it through, then get on the power. 136, so that is a little lower, but it's back up to 137 again. We're never going get to get out of this red range now, especially since it's so warm. We're nearly three seconds back in Mir, so we lost two seconds on that lap. I didn't even see what the lap time was. It was absolutely atrocious. My lines are all over the place as well, just trying to look after this tyre as much as I can because otherwise I'm just going to crash, I think. And you can see Miller's right behind us. Is that uh, Potter Spagro behind him on his way? It might be, I'm not too sure. I've not seen Rossi or Morbidelli since the beginning of the race. They should definitely be a bit further up the order, so I'm not sure what's happened with tho those two. Jean Mir is doing very well in this race. Now it's Davizioso finally coming coming through the pack. So he actually started quite high up, Davizioso, but he dropped through. And now he's catching up to the back of Miller. And we've got him very, very wide. It's like I allow Miller through. Not quite. So we're still in front of Jack Miller, luckily. We are really, really struggling. Is he going to get up the inside here through Stadion? Not too sure. Obviously there's only a few laps to go, but they are. the group behind is closing. Obviously we were all really spread out at one time or another. It will be interesting to see what happens with this sort of glitch that happens where the AI get put a couple minutes behind. Will this happen in this race if we're all very close? There might be people that are a few seconds behind me but in the same train. So their positions might not be too badly affected. But the rear is really sliding through Kevin Schwantz. And it, we're just lucky really that AI are so bad at passing. Like They can ram you out of the way, don't get me wrong. We've gone in a bit wider into 11. That might have allowed Miller to get the run as we go up the hill. I'm going to have to put the power down, put the weight on the front. Here comes Miller. Up the hill we go. But this Honda, obviously being the best bike, has got great straight line speed, even with that wing missing. Really, we probably would have boxed for that, that wing missing. Uh, 
I mean, perhaps we could have stayed out, or, yeah, I suppose, oh, Petrucci's down, I don't know where Petrucci is, I thought maybe he was near us, but Petrucci is absolutely nowhere near us, Alasia Spagro has gone down as well, so those two seem to have crashed into each other, because they were together on truck, so we start lap 9 of 11, as we go into the first corner then, Miller is still right behind us, as we slide it through, this is going to be a very tense finale, I know I keep looking behind, I know some people hate it when I do that, but I need to see where Miller is, of course, I don't think there's any point looking at the temperatures anymore, so I'm just going to look at the one that more shows the wear of the tyre. 2.8 laps of fuel, that's not quite enough actually. Oh, Miller's on the inside, Miller's cut the rear end, that's sent me into even more of a spin. Here comes Miller, he's got the power, we're going to squeeze him over towards the right hand side, hopefully he doesn't do what Jean Mir did to us last year when we did this challenge with Carol Abraham, obviously diving up the inside of us. But we're, we're still in fifth position, so somehow we're still hanging on. But Davizioso now trying to get past Miller as well. They have to hold a tight apex so that they can't lunge up the inside. I'd love to see the lap time at the end of this lap because it's going to be absolutely appalling. It's going to be absolutely appalling this lap time here. I may as well turn the engine braking back. That's the wrong control. I need to get over to the engine braking. I may as well turn it back up so at least we can stop a little better. 5.4 seconds we've now dropped behind Jean Mir, who was only about a second in front of us a couple of laps ago. That is how much the tyres will do you over in this game. They absolutely destroy you, and the right tyre choice is more important than it ever has been. Alex Marquez actually is on his way through the pack because he's just passed Valentino Rossi, and he's just been passed by Jack Miller, so he must be right there in the pack behind us then. Davizio, oh yeah, I can see Rossi going up the inside of someone as well. So second gear out of that corner just to try and not spin up quite as much. Up the straight we go then. Towards the penultimate turn, obviously Horizon for nearly six seconds behind Jean-Mir now. So another second we've lost already. Turned in way too early for that corner. Here comes Davizioso around the outside and up the inside he goes through the final turn. We're getting the power down out the last corner and we've actually got a better acceleration drive than him. 56-3 on that lap, terrible lap time, but we've gone straight back past Davizioso. So somehow we've actually managed to get it straightened up and get back on the inside of him, but he's going to run it around the outside through this long turn one yes he is but we might be able to edge him out towards the edge of the track through turn two but he's just got that drive that i don't have but down the straight we go towards turn three putting into power mode zero because we're really marginal on the brakes then i'm actually going for it on the brakes at the inside of someone we've really pushed out dobby dobby set us down no dobby what have you done dobby what have you done and the bike is still sliding the bike is still sliding come on get back on the bike what position are we in now we're down in 14th place Davizioso has absolutely destroyed us there. And it's all a consequence of picking the wrong tyre. We've got even more damage. The bike is really pulling to the right hand side now. Uh, this is a terrible amount of damage. Yet yeah, the bike will not stop into this corner either. That's allowed Nakagami to have a look at the inside. Will Nakagami be able to get us though? We're going to have to try and hang on because we don't want to be the last Honda in this race. We're already the third Honda in this race. But I don't want to be the fourth. So we're on the penultimate lap, of course, so we've only got one more lap to go after this one, but this has really, really gone appallingly. It would have been fifth place, which would have been pretty decent against the AI from the back of the grid at Bruno. Uh, mo most of that done on the first and second laps, of course, but... Yeah, now with Davizioso absolutely just knocking us off, that's gone, that's gone terribly. There's someone just ahead of us. Who is that? Uh, well, they're quite far in front of us. Not going to catch them up, but they're detached from the group in front. It'd be interesting to see who that is on their own. Not sure if we've actually gone through a sector checkpoint yet since I got back on what we must have done because we were about to start the last sector and I fell off in the first one, so uh, I've obviously just not been paying attention. So it's Bagro and Nakagami battling. Here comes Oliveira. So we're 3.4 seconds behind Brad Binder it is in front of us. Okay, interesting. So as we go into Horizon to then the rear sliding on, there's no, no nothing left on the right inside the tyre. You can see all the inside goes Oliveira, Oliveira's clipped us there a little bit, so even more damage. So we're down at the 15th position now. This has gone absolutely terribly with this. We can put some more power back on though. I'm going to go for it on Oliveira as we go down towards the first corner on the brakes. Obviously using the power of that Honda, which pull alongside him, we're forcing him a bit wide there. So we're back up into 14th position. I want to hold these two points, if I can, out of the first corner then down towards turn three. Here comes Nakagami trying to go past Oliveira as well. As we hit the brakes. So, the, oh, we've gone so wide into this corner here. That's going to definitely allow them through. Yes, it is. Oliveira's through. But here we go. Back at the inside. We've kind of forced him out of the way. We've kind of bashed him a little bit. So hopefully he'll keep the position because that was a bit of a dirty move for myself. Yes, he has. Here comes Paulo Spagro though with the, with the run. And we've got another run on Oliveira. Again, the straight line speed really helping us out of the inside into turn five. But none of us are even anywhere near the apex. 
but Oliveira even further wide than myself, which allows me to get back up into 14th place. I did not think I'd be fighting over 14th in this race, that's for sure. But Davizioso obviously didn't want me to have 5th. Out of Stadion then. Into turn 8. We've only got to hang on for about another half a lap. 1.7 laps of fuel left. We can use some power mode 2 on the straights if we need it, just to put some time into the riders behind. Obviously they are on KTM, so we've got a big advantage. There's a big, a big pack of them behind us. I'm not sure it is off, off the back of it. I think it might be Bradley Smith. But I can't be too sure on that one. We've gone a little bit wide into Kevin Schwantz. Still using some power material, so we've got a lap off fuel left with us a few corners to go. So we should be okay. We've gone wide into 11 again. There. The front had gone then. The, front, the rear pushed the front so much. And I think I do need to turn that engine braking back down to two, maybe. But at, here we come out this corner. Here comes Nakagami. Honda versus Honda, but he's backed out of it, it seems. I think I might have moved over on him a little bit. Fabio Quattararo wins the race then here in Bruno. We've gone in very, very wide into Horizon. Is that going to last? Someone's got the inside. Oh, we've got Nakagami. Nakagami has got the inside, but we've now got the inside. Someone else tried to come on the outside. Is it Miguel Oliveira? They've both mugged me as we come up towards the line. What's it going to be? 15th. We just mugged it. It said 15th right at the end, so I think we've just got a point in this race. So then, Quattararo winning a very, very close race then, just ahead of Maverick Vinales, half a second ahead of him. And then a second back is Kyle Crutchlow. Did we get that 15th? Yes, we did. Just, we got equal time in Nakagami, but just in front of him with the slipstream of Oliveira. So we get a point. We also get the fastest lap of the race, so that's definitely a consolation. We have the pace to win, but just the wrong tyre choice. So that was kind of my fault. But at the same time, we would have still probably got fifth or sixth. Obviously, by the end, it was terrible. The tyre would not even ride around the track. Which is why, basically, actually, I think if you're doing a long enough race, a hard tyre is your only option. You can go on, a, you can go soft on the front because the front tyre just barely wears in this game for some reason. But a rear tyre, you need to go for that harder option. Kind of interesting because in real life, it's the other way around. You often see people going out on hard front, soft rears, even in qualifying. But if someone did that in the game, they'd be absolutely crazy because they would not get around the first corner without the front washing out from being so cold, uh, soft basically all the way in. Occasionally a medium time, maybe from a historic bike, but uh, then another Petrucci retired. Oh yes, of course, him and Espagro had that crash. So those were the two people. That, uh, Espagro was the guy that was off the back of the group, not Smith. So we'll go have a look at that and have a look at the crash with myself and Davizioso because it was a little bit of a weird crash that one. So it's on board with Petrucci then down the straight. And he just oh he hit him on the back. That's what he did. I, I wasn't expecting. I was expecting them to crash in the corner, but Petrucci just hits Espagro on the back. So it's on board with the leash then, up the straight he goes, up horsepower here, at least he's riding along, and bam, he just gets smacked by Danilo Petrucci. Wow. I don't know why the AI keep doing that in this game, it's weird, they keep sort of hitting into each other on the straights. So it's sitting slow-mo then, up the hill we go, on board with Petrucci, seems like a Sparrow suddenly breaks. That's probably his braking zone on the Aprilia, because obviously his AI stat isn't as good. And there goes Petrucci tumbling into the gravel. So this is on board with Davizioso then, against myself. Break of this corner, not the inside I go, perfectly fine on the brakes out, on the kerb. And, oh, I suppose I drifted a little bit wide onto his line just because of the tyre. I don't think it actually might have been Dobby's fault there. And it was such a minor touch, I think it's just because of my lack of grip that I crashed. Yeah, actually, in Dobby's defence, that's not really his fault. I will, I'll put my hands up with that one. I thought he'd just ridden into me, but I've just completely skated wide because of the lack of grip. So that's kind of frustrating. So if we watch it on board myself, then hitting the brakes into this corner here. The rear is sliding, the rear is sliding, the rear is sliding, yeah. And I suppose I can see why, from my perspective, I just think Dobby's just took me out. Because I can't see him on my camera. I can see him here. And all of a sudden he just comes in and just smacks me. But it's because he always had that trajectory. It's just I kind of understood onto it. And for some reason, for some reason the custom Honda has the LCR Honda Idemitsu cockpit. Okay, I didn't even realise it was a thing. But yeah, apparently it is. So that's interesting. But... Yeah, my rear tyre just drifted me wide. It was the wrong choice. The hard tyre was the only viable tyre on the rear in that race. Unless you're an AI and well, you can use whatever you want. But my bike slid for such a long time. I mean, look how far it slid. Like, that's what cost me most of my time. Really. But yeah, it wasn't to be today. It just wasn't my day. Alex Marquez managed to claw up from near the back up to 6th position. Obviously, I did it up to 5th. But yeah, that tyre was just the wrong choice. So I kind of messed up that challenge. But... You're not going to do it all the time. We get, actually, I was going to say we get another attempt at this track next week, but we don't actually. This is not a double header. Red Bull Ring next time, which should be a bit easier. We get two attempts at that one at least, anyway. So, uh, not quite gone to plan. But I hope you guys did enjoy that one anyway. Apologies for no video yesterday. It was just a bit too hot. I, I don't think my PC could handle it, and I couldn't really handle it either to sit here and record with the windows closed and stuff like that, because it would have been probably career mode all this video. So, uh, 
yeah, sort of do the last of first challenge today. Career mode hopefully will be back tomorrow. But like I said, I hope you did enjoy that video then, guys. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Hope you're all staying safe, and I shall see you in the next one.